Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you guys are here, especially for today's video, and I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you. When this video finally reaches you, you guys, I am so excited to dive into today's story time and really make you guys, if you haven't been aware of what some people are doing out there in the world, to take advantage of or cause harm to vulnerable people. And I, I just can't even tell you how important this video is to me to share this. Because as of recently, I've actually been warned by a couple of my friends about what's been going on in my area, specifically to women, and the tactics that individuals are using to prey on vulnerable women or vulnerable individuals in general. And then a couple of days ago, I received an email from one of you guys detailing your experience with a infant's car seat on the side of the road. And after that, I realized, wow, this really is a real thing. Not that I didn't think it was before, but it's just so important to talk about it. And since I do have this platform, I felt it was my duty to really just talk about this with you guys and just put some things into your awareness. So hopefully you can stay all the more safe in this sometimes absolutely crazy world. Before we get into today's video though, I would just very quickly like to thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Now, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys would know that I absolutely adore Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative or curious people. With Skillshare, you can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and overall just get completely lost in your creativity. The next class that I'm personally diving into is Email Productivity, Work Smarter with Your Inbox, but I have done so many. I'm excited about this one because I recently realized that I have a little bit of a problem with the organization of my email. Like I just have so many emails. So that's the next class that I wanna take, but I've taken so many classes on Skillshare, like classes on how to keep houseplants alive and podcasting. Basically, whatever it is that you're looking to explore, learn more about, or just get creative with, Skillshare will have the perfect class for you. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom or just practice self-care through creativity, or even just join a similar creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. I am so excited to let you guys know that the first 1,000 of you to click the link down in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership, and then after that, it's just around $10 a month. So make sure you guys go ahead Ahead and click the link down in my description box and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video but without further ado let's get into a much darker and more informative subject matter so pretty much since I was younger I was continuously hearing of ways that criminals were luring in people who were vulnerable so to speak I remember that when I was younger I heard a lot about the fact that children would approach women and say that they lost their parents and provide an address and the women rather than calling 911 or the police would take these children to the home and then wind up abducted and taken advantage of recently one of my friends sent me an article detailing how in my area there were individuals putting water bottles on like the hoods of people's cars and then when you would get in your car or ahead of time recognize that the water bottle was there, it was kind of a tactic to distract you and then they would grab you and kidnap you and do whatever it is they wanted to do with you. I also recently saw on TikTok that one of the newest things that people were doing as well was at the end of the night putting carts near like the back of a, a vehicle and then when somebody would go to clear out that cart and put it in its rightful position, they were supposedly intending to take that individual and do what they wanted. I also heard that if anybody ever throws raw eggs at your windshield, never put your windshield wipers on because it will never wipe off and you'll have to pull over to clean your windshield, in which case they knew that was gonna happen and they will take you or do what it is that they wanted to do with you. So I'd heard quite a bit about this, and one of them that I'd heard of as well was that people were putting car seats on the side of the road with either lifelike looking dolls in it or just like completely covered over so that hopefully women with the maternal instinct would pull over and check on the car seat and they would either wind up abducted or harm would be caused to them. 
Now, as much as I heard about these things, in fact, at one point, I think it was around last year, I heard in Toronto that there was two men or one man, I, I can't fully remember on the spot here, who were pulling over and asking women for directions and they were getting really weird about it and pe women were saying actually that they felt as though it was very predatory and there was a big warning issued as to not getting close to the window to give the directions to these men. So I've heard about this quite a bit. It's been something that I've heard of. And I mean, I've always been taught the whole stranger danger thing. I've been taught to be aware of my surroundings, to not trust just anybody that I come across, but I've never actually met somebody who's encountered one of these things. In fact, one time, another one that I'm thinking of, this is all over the place, but these are just things that I've heard of that I want you guys to be made aware of. I didn't even make any notes for today's video because I felt like it was so important. I just wanted to come up here and chat about it. Another one that I heard as well was that they were taking pieces of paper that were blank and they were folding them up and putting them underneath your windshield wiper so that you would think maybe you had a note or a ticket and then when you grabbed it and as you unraveled it, that was the time that they took advantage of that. So I'd heard a lot about these things, but I'd never met somebody who had actually had that experience. And where I stemmed back to this one was one time I went over to my car and I had like what looked like a piece of paper under my wiper and I remembered this. And so instead of looking at it, I just hopped in my vehicle and I drove as quickly as possible and I was making sure that like nobody was behind me, etc. And when I got home, it was like a promotional flyer and I was like, wow, isn't it sad that sometimes we have to think this way in the world, but it goes back to that tried and true saying, better safe than sorry. But I received an email a couple of days ago from a young woman who watches my videos and she wanted to share her experience with me. So she said that her town too had been having some strange things happening to it. She mentioned how there was warnings going around about ways to protect yourself and take care of yourself and all of that stuff, which I feel like we constantly hear about. And she was driving home from the grocery store one night with her baby in the back seat. And she's driving up this one road that wasn't like a highway, but it wasn't a like slow street. Um, I forget how she specifically described it, but that was how I interpreted it. And she saw in the ditch of the side of the road what appeared to be a covered up car seat. And initially she thought maybe she should pull over and check on it. She had a six month old of her own in the back seat and she felt as though perhaps something had happened or the child had been neglected. And the mother in her, because she had a baby of her own, so badly wanted her to pull over and check on the car seat. But right when she was about to pull over, she had her signal on and everything. She got a very, very strange feeling. And so rather than pulling over, she actually called the police and the police went to investigate it. They later found out that inside of that was no child. And the police informed her afterwards that she did the exact right thing and that they think it was some sort of a setup to lure women who would have that maternal instinct to check on it. Now, I guess they had mentioned to her that there was other evidence in the vicinity and other reports that they couldn't disclose to her that led them to believe it wasn't just an abandoned car seat. There were things that made them believe it was something more. But in my heart, regardless of whether or not it was just a car seat thrown out, it was a situation that I'd heard of in the past that wound up coming true. It was true that somebody had stumbled across a car seat on the side of the road and did want to pull over. And in fact, at the end of her email, she mentioned that she probably would have pulled over had her baby not have been in the back seat because the maternal instinct in her of her taking care of her own child overpowered even checking on that, but she knew she couldn't just drive past it. And after hearing that, it really, set my mind in emotion. Like these things are truly happening. I actually saw on TikTok, I'm pretty sure that it was staged, but it was somebody putting the water bottle on someone's car and the reaction of how the woman behaved. And they were basically explaining how many times she made herself vulnerable by doing that. But at the end of the day, it's very sad that we have to even live in a, in a world or with a mindset that every little thing that occurs to us is somebody trying to take advantage or cause harm to us. But I did want to make a video on this and chat about it because I find for myself anyway, I could never fathom ever causing harm to another human being. That is not even something that I can resonate with by any means. And so a big part of me doesn't want to believe that these things could happen. But when I took that Uber in Atlanta with my mom and 
it wasn't the right person driving and the license plate in the car didn't add up and the way that they were acting was so strange. That was one of the first times in my entire life where I was like, wow, this can really, really happen. Like you could be living your life and just going about the motions and be taken advantage of by somebody else. So since she did share that experience with me, I wanted to share that with you guys and all of the other different ways that sometimes people take advantage of others. I'm actually thinking of an experience too, and this made me feel really bad afterwards, but you just have to protect yourself, especially to those of you who may be younger watching this and you're not fully familiar with things that go on in the world in that sense, which I wish that I could say that these things don't happen, but they do. You have to be really protective of yourself and your own safety. I think it was a few months ago, Tyler and I were leaving my subdivision here and a man was walking over from like the bus stop area. And I don't wanna sound insensitive by saying this, but I initially got the impression that he may be homeless. And I was stopped at the stop sign and he walked over to my Jeep and asked me to roll down the window. And I did because Tyler was next to me. And he said, do you know if the buses are running today? I forget what holiday it was, but I was like, oh, I, I'm not sure. And he was like, oh, well, I need to get downtown. And I was like, oh, like, I don't know, maybe like look, call the bus schedule or look into it. I'm not, I'm not sure. And he was like, can you give me a ride? And as much as I wanted to help somebody, I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't give you a ride. I'm in a hurry. And I lied to him. But I've seen way too many things of this nature where people pull on your heartstrings or try to get you invested in their story and it turns out to be really dangerous. And it breaks my heart that he very well could have just needed a ride and I could have given him that, but ultimately you have to be so protective of yourself and your own safety. Um, so yeah, that, that was a recent experience that somebody had with a car seat. As I mentioned, the police did say that while they can't disclose the evidence that they have because it's an ongoing investigation now, that they had reason to believe that she'd made the right choice and that there was an ulterior motive behind it. So I just encourage you guys to keep all of these things in mind and if you ever have a second thought or you're second guessing something, Please don't hesitate to call somebody who can help you and don't put yourself in a vulnerable position even if your heart wants you to. Um, you have to be so, so, so very careful. With that being said, I would love to know if any of you guys have had any similar experiences or if there's any other tactics that you've personally heard of. Let everybody know down in the comment section below if you're comfortable to do so and let's raise the conversation of our safety and the things that you have to be made aware of. And that is basically it for today's video. Please, 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 you guys, I know I keep stressing this, but because I do have this platform and I've recently been warned myself and then I got that email, I'm kind of looking at it as the universe telling me that this is something that I should speak about and I should raise awareness to. So I really wanted to make this video and I just hope that you guys stay safe out there. I know if you're anything like me, you wanna believe that people out there in the world aren't that evil, but unfortunately there are very evil people in the world where there are good people, there are bad people. And I just wanna make sure that each and every one of you it stays as absolutely safe as possible. So that is it for today's video. Once again, I would just love to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned at the beginning of my video, the first 1,000 of you to click the link down in my description will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And then after that, it's just around $10 a month. So make sure you're within the first 1,000 to click that link down below. <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, but you do enjoy my videos, I would absolutely love it more than you will ever know if you would go ahead, click that subscribe button, join the Reese's Pieces. We believe in the unbelievable and this community is so full of love and light and we would love nothing more than to have you and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it or maybe you learned something from it and that is it for today's video remember my loves do all things with kindness and stay safe and please remember that i love you bye guys